Toby is a tram engine who works on the Farquhar branch line. He does many jobs on this line. He takes workmen to the quarry and freight to the harbor. He is very old, but he doesn't care. He knows he is very useful. However, because of his age, Toby can sometimes be forgetful. Well, I better go get those workmen. They must get to the quarry. Toby, it's Tuesday. Mavis takes the workmen today, remember? Oh yes, of course! I forgot! I better head down to the harbor. Oh Toby, you'll forget how to stop one day and go crash into something. One day, it was a very special day indeed, but I can't tell you why because that would spoil the story. Toby was about to do his normal jobs when Sir Topham Hack came. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering why Toby's on his old line, it's because it was bought by the Fat Controller several years ago, and Toby now lives here. Anyway, back to the story. Good morning, Toby. Since it's your special day, you can do whatever you want. Thank you, sir. Well, Toby, where would you like to go today? Well, I'd like to go down to the seaside. How about Brenham Docks? Then we can make our way to the fishing village. Then it's off to Brendam Docks. Shall we bring Henrietta? Is that a rhetorical question? Of course we're going to bring Henrietta. Toby trundled happily along the line with Henrietta. The other engines all whistled happily and Toby rang his bell in response. He stopped at Wellsworth to take on more water, where he met Edward. Hello, Toby. You do look cheerful. Well, it is my special day. Yes, of course. We've got a party being prepared for you at Tidmouth. Oh, lovely! Wait, what's your party? Just then, Bill and Ben peeped into the yard. Toby and the twins didn't see each other much, and the twins found Toby's shape to be very amusing. Look, Bill! Someone's left their garden shed again! <laughs> That's not a shed! Why would a shed be on the rails? It's a brake bin! <laughs> <laughs> Oi! You two blokes better bug off! This special engine is having a special day today! Special? What's so special about him? Edward winked at Toby. Why, yes, Toby. You are a special, special engine. And they say today is your special, special day. But what's so special about your special... Stop! Just stop being Sharon Miller! Toby laughed and headed off. Later, he reached Brendam Docks. He loved it here. The sound of the ships and the seagulls plus all the hustle and bustle. Something he didn't get on the quarry tramway. Ahoy there, Toby! Good morning, Salty. Toby was just about to explore around when Bill and Ben came in with some empty trucks. So, Toby, what's so special about you today? I don't see any point to all this. I'll let you find that out yourselves. Uh, come on! You can tell us! Please! I'll give you a hint. It happened on this day in 1914. And Toby left. Bill and Ben were puzzled. They weren't the smartest of engines, so figuring it out would be quite a challenge. What happened on this day in 1914? I don't know, Ben. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, I got it! What, Bill? 1914 was 100 years ago. I think it's now 2014. So 100 years ago, it was 1914. Wow, I didn't know that. Man, bro, you're such a smart engine. 
no. Really? Ah, oh, I'm surrounded by idiots. So what happened 100 years ago? I know. Dinosaurs went extinct. Toby must be a dinosaur. So he... You complete, utter, stupid boneheads! Even Sydney would not be so stupid. Dinosaurs haven't existed for over 65 million years. You two are pathetic! Well, how are we supposed to know about that crank crap? I've lost all faith in this world. Meanwhile, Toby was talking with Percy and Daisy. That's typical for Bill and Ben. They were a right pain when I thought I found a good luck charm. For some reason, they think I am in a relationship with Boko. I would never go out with him. He's all old and oily and what? Well, loud. Toby couldn't help laughing, much to Daisy's unamusement, and the three engines kept talking about Bill and Ben's low intelligence. Hey, look, it's Steve. Maybe he'll know. Steve, do you know what happened 100 years ago from today? Hmm. Well, I know World War I started a hundred years ago, but I don't know exactly what happened this day in 1914. That's it! Toby serves in World War I! Could be. I believe his class was built from 1903 to 1921. Now, I better be heading off. Uh, Bill, I don't think World Wars are something to celebrate. It's gotta be something else. The twins thought long and hard. Belinda Ben, shouldn't you two be at the Clayworks by now? Shh! Quiet, Derek! We're thinking! Thinking? About what? The twins explained to Derek about Toby. Well, I've never really spoken to Toby, so I don't know anything about him. But anyways, I should be heading off to the Clayworks. I suggest you two do the same before you get into trouble. And Derek slunk away. Good day, Derek. Oh, hello, Gordon. That's one smart coat of paint. Why, thank you. Hope it will last long. Hope we're having any accidents with this attractive attire. That's it, Bill. What? 100 years ago, Toby had an accident. Of course. That's why he's so special. He's a special needs engine. Man, bro, you're just as clever as me. <laughs> Don't I know it? and the twins scuttled away. They didn't notice that Gordon was desperately trying not to laugh. He had heard everything. Later, he arrived at Tidmouth with all the other engines and told them everything. Everyone burst out laughing. Talk about the tale of two dim witties. <laughs> now, now, they are a bit cheeky and, uh absent-minded, but they never mean any real harm. They're just clowns by nature. Well, with that said, happy 100th birthday, Toby. The engines all whistled and cheered as Toby turned a century old. Oldies but goldies, we still care about you. <laughs> Thank you.